Effective immediately, Cloud9 will no longer keep black hair care products in locked cases. Wait, why are those locked up? Can you huff them? Or is it more like a butt thing? Oh, butt thing? No, I think it's because they think black people are going to steal them. Yeah, we have to ask for the key. It's like a walk of shame every time you need argan oil. Wait, seriously? That was store policy? That you had to humiliate yourself just to get the uh, al almond, the... What was it called? The, uh, the al almond oil. Almond. That's so messed up. Yep. That was pretty cool of corporate to fix it. Oh, yeah. It takes a lot of courage to make a gesture this small this late in the game. Look, the important thing is it ends today. You know, I thought my legacy as acting manager was going to be the new forklift pallet clamp, but turns out it's racial justice. So, okay. Ken, do you want to do the honors? Oh, six-foot bubble, everybody. Watch your fingers. I just had these sharpened. <laughs> uh, Ken, on the count of three, you're going to bolt cut us into the 21st century. One, two, two three! three. Or, you know, since we put the lock there, maybe we have the key. Less ceremonial, but fine. Uh, that's my house key. This one's Graham Graham skate rink. This is my orange theory locker. Ah, yeah, key to the racist lock. Woohoo! Wow, so this is what equality feels like. Amazing grace, okay. how sweet. Come on, everybody. You do realize the hair products thing isn't the end of racism. It's not even the end of racism in the store. Oh, is this because Karen started here last week? Because she's willing to go by Jill. But no. Don't you think it's messed up that we've never had a black district manager? Or that the employee handbook limits our hair length to three inches in diameter? That basically means no afros. I guess I just never thought about any of this stuff. I mean, you've never brought it up before. It's not my job to call out every racist thing I come up against. Well, let's do something about it. You're going to hold a meeting, and you're going to compile a list of all the racist stuff that corporate needs to talk about. Uh, I think it's good that the store has unlocked the black hair products, but I thought we'd make a list of the other issues corporate needs to address. You mean like how we still sell products with racist mascots? Ooh, yes, that's a good one. Write that one down. OK, that's a weird energy to bring to this, but OK. How about some new options in our vending machines? There are three rows of sour cream and onion chips and no jalapeno. OK, guys, so this list is to come up with issues that are affecting black customers and employees. Well, that one affects me, my brother, because I hate sour cream and onion. Yeah, but that's more of a you thing, not a black thing. I'm pretty sure that's a black thing. Uh, raise your hand if you are black and you like sour cream and onion. I like sour cream. That's not the question. It has to be sour cream and onion devil's combo. Show of hands. Hands up. Mm hmm Yep. Prosecution rests. OK, does anybody have anything actually useful? I think a lot of us want to help, but we just have blind spots when it comes to this stuff. I mean, when I was growing up, we were told the goal was to not see race. OK, see, I don't know who started telling white people that. I'm assuming it was other white people, but you shouldn't ignore race. You should be aware of how being black affects our daily lives. Wait, you're black? I thought you were Dominican. What? No. You're not even a little Dominican, like Puerto Rican? That's not how it works. But Garrett's right. We're dealing with microaggressions all the time. Yeah, like certain employees always asking to touch my hair. I'm not naming names, but if I were, they beat Isaac. <sighs> I'm sorry. Your hair looks fun. Oh, Dude. Really? OK, fine. Janet, your hair doesn't look fun. Is that better? It looks like a bad time. No. Oh, <laughs> how about Justine trying to sound blacker when she talks to black people? Oh, that's how you going to do me? Uh, I've experienced a ton of anti-Asian racism since Corona started. Yeah, customers have said some really terrible stuff to us. I've been getting that, too, and I'm Hawaiian. Well, you look Asian to white people, so don't go thinking you're cleaner than us. Yeah, we're the cleanest people here. I'm sick of everybody acting like all black people have it worse than white people. Like, look at Will Smith. His life is way better than mine, and our debut albums came out the same year. Isaac, I guarantee, all things being equal, racism is harder for black people than it is for you. Go on, tell them about how your life is harder because you're black. Wait till you hear this. I think it's going to be pretty bad. Oh, really? Um, uh, OK, so a couple weeks ago, I bought a Nintendo Switch. A white dude follows me through the parking lot and goes, you got a receipt for that? Ugh, white dudes. So this is the kind of stuff we're working to address with this list. Uh-uh, forget the list. We can get back to the list. The personal stories are breaking through. Give us another one. So you just want me to tell more stories about messed up stuff that happened because I'm black? Exactly. Hit us with a big one. <sighs> Fine. OK, 
Racist story time. Gather around, everybody. Oh, whoa, no, no, no. Don't actually scoot in. 